Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today, we've got the top five beginner plants. No, stop doing that. Stop making videos like that. It's one of my pet peeves is the top five beginner this, the top five beginner that. There's no such thing. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about why. So I see these videos all the time and they really do my nut in. I'm going to put a bit of a warning out there. I sell plants on my website. If you want to buy some tropical plants for your aquarium, go on aquariumadventures.co.uk and buy to your heart's content. I'll tell you they're all brilliant. But the ones where you get these videos where they say the top five beginner plants for anyone, it's not a thing. So let's take this tank for example. So we've got a tank here, it's full of crypts, it's full of java fern, it's full of some floating plants, we've got some salvinia, we've got some duckweed. Did you know there are people in the world who can't grow duckweed? Who'd have thunk it? it? It's literally a weed. It's called a weed. It's arrived in every tank I've got that flourishes, but there are people who just can't get it to happen. And there's a number of different reasons why, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Everyone is different. Celebrate our diversity. Yeah, that is true to an extent, but you have people who have new tanks, old tanks, well fertilized tanks, unfertilized tanks, deep substrates, thin substrates, no substrates, hard water, soft water, everything's different old, new, whatever it might be, there's no such thing as, this is a universal plant, it'll work for everyone. I used to spout that if you had duckweed in one tank, you would have duckweed in every tank. And that might be the case for you, but countless people have always told me that they just can't get it to happen. And it might be they have too much flow. It might be their water parameters won't support it. And, and that's the point I'm trying to make. If you just tell everyone, Limnophilia sessiflora is the best plant in the world because everyone can grow it and it's great. And then somebody buys it and it doesn't grow and it's not great and they get put off. That's not good. So what I would like to encourage is everyone to go and try things. Um, again, shameless plug. Aquariumadventures.co.uk will sell you some plants. They're not that expensive. Try some out, see what works for you. Do a bit of research on what kind of water parameters certain plants like. Do a bit of research on what kind of water parameters you have. The amount of times people speak to me and ask me, what plant will work in my tank? And I go, I don't know, what, what, what's your tank? And they go, hey, well, it's got water in it, it's wet. So do some, I'm a big advocate of test kits. I'll even put links to test kits. It's prime day today. I don't know if it still will be by the time I get this out. You might get a cheap test kit. Find out whether you've got hard, soft water. Find out whether you've got really nutrient rich water or not. And experiment, experiment with different um, substrates with different filtration, with different water flow, with different additives. You will find people who swear by liquid fertilizers. You will find people who say they're a complete scam and never to use them. It all depends on what you're starting from and what you're starting with. So I would suggest go and buy a few cheap plants and try them out. Some of the hardier plants that is actually what they're saying when they say these top five plants might be a really good one to go for. If you can find some floating plants, I always find they're great because they do a multitude of sins. They're some of the most um, succulent, if that's the word, where they take the, the most amount of nitrates out of the water. I, if I categorize plants in three ways, you have floating plants, you have stem plants, and you have root plants. Um, this is not the proper scientific way to categorize plants, I must say that. But floating plants suck the nutrients out of the tank like there's no tomorrow. Second only is the stem plants. So your things like your uh, Rotala, your Limnophilia, Sessiflora, all these kind of, they take the nutrients out of the water column. Uh, they tend to be fast growing and some are really fast growing. You're constantly clipping them and making more plants. Um, and then you have your root plants, which are things like your crypts, your anubias, your th things like that, that they're more slow growing. They take their nutrients from the substrate um, and they, they don't go for explosions. And a lot of people will say to me, well, I can grow Rotala, Rotundiflora. I can grow that like nobody's business. I'm cutting it twice a week to keep it in check. Well, but my Anubius isn't growing at all. They don't grow that fast. So don't get disheartened. And I, I say this as a, a confessed non-plant expert. I do not, I am not a master horticulturist or aquatic horticulturist or anything like that. I'm a keen amateur enthusiast. And I've noticed over the years, there are some plants that I can't keep. And it turns out it's not me that can't keep them. It's my water parameters are not optimized for. 
there are some plants that I can keep, which other people think, well, that's quite an advanced plant. How can how, how is he managing to do that? It's not me, it's my water. So just experiment and try things off. The stem plants for want of nothing else are great because they're so easily propagated. So if you buy a few stems of something, every couple of months you're cutting them down, you're making another two plants. And you, before, before you know it, you've got a huge, um, luscious aquascape. Um, and that, that's the final point I want to make is about time. You have to give it time. Um, your aquascape that you set up on day one, on day six, it might look a bit pathetic. On day 20, it might look a bit pathetic. You might go through stages of it being all algae ridden, blotchy, things un unrooting themselves or fish unrooting your plants. You might get to day 60 and still go, Ugh, that's not really right. But six months in, you might have something that looks quite impressive. A year in, even more impressive. This is the hobby that does not do well for people who are impatient. So like any fish keeping advice you hear about, just taking your time with everything, don't rush things. Same with plant keeping. Um, I have plants in this plant. These plants have doubled in size since I put them in a couple of months ago. But for the first month, this was just green and horrible and just full of hair algae, it was disgusting. Uh, and now it looks great. I have other tanks that have been running for ages that have been perfect for a while. And then all of a sudden I feed too heavily or I forget a water change or what happens and the imbalance just goes Bleh! algae everywhere. It, it's not an exact science, unless you are a scientist, because there are people out there who are probably going, yes it is, so I can tell you exactly why that's happening. But unless you're going to follow all those rules so specifically, it's, it's more of a thing, it's a living thing, like the fish. The plants are living plants, they're going to do what they do whether you're involved or not. Uh, I, I very much see myself as just someone who's around while this happens rather than is involved in it happening. So there you go, I just wanted to be the advocate for the triers of the world. The people who aren't experts, who haven't done all the studying but still want to get stuck in anyway, you're my kind of people. Get in there, have a bash with some plants. Even if you don't buy them from me, speak to your local fish club, find some friends, join communities, ask for some cuttings. There are easy and cheap ways to get plants um, that you don't have to spend a fortune on. The, the unrealistic ideals that you see in some of these videos, they are aspirational, they're great. I love your George Farmers, your MD fish tanks, but they are spending hundreds and hundreds of, well they're not because they're getting them for free, but there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of plants and aquascaping materials and stuff that are going into producing these big <laughs> full on displays. Um, the more realistic version of that is something that starts small and grows in over a year. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. That is the way to be. Um, so I just want to be the advocate for those guys, the people who do it a bit slower and a bit more of a budget. Um, as much as your aspirational George Farmers MD fish tanks, they are great and they are brilliant at what they do. Um, if you're on a budget, you might be on the other side of the fence trying things a little bit slower. And no one starts an expert I was not an, I'm nowhere near an expert still. I was not an expert when I started getting into plants. I tried things and I now know what works for me. I know I can keep Java Fern. I know I can keep Anubis. I know everyone can if they try hard enough. But even saying that, it's just not true because some people just cannot get a plant to live. No matter what they do, their water might be too hard. Their filtration might be too fast. They might, as I said, there's loads of parameters here that you need to figure out. So I'm interested to know what the diversity is out there. What kind of plants are you, have you been embarrassed that you've not been able to keep a plant that everyone else says is dead easy? Have you got a plant that's flourishing that everyone else says is dead hard? Who knows? So that's it for me. I just wanted to announce that I've also just passed 50,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video on the day it comes out, or very close to it, the Friday night live stream that I do every week, this week's will be a celebration, a thank you to everyone. We've got some giveaways, we've got some quizzes and games and things like that. So, so come along, join us, 9 p.m. UK time. Join in the fun, you might win a few things. And just a big thank you really, because it's you that's made this happen. Cheers, bye.